Hello, the Saturday wrap. Yes, it's back for Saturday, the 23rd of March, 2023. We've been through the equinox, so on both scales, it's spring. Except it doesn't really seem like it. Apart from this afternoon when it's nice and sunny, but the wind is from the northwest and it's cold. So, if you haven't seen this before, this is me moaning on about my week, the politics, the weather, the tech, the more politics, the more weather, and the beer, etc. Okay, the word or phrase of the week. Well, I struggled with this long and hard, but I've come up with a three-letter word, and that is law. I believe we are at a watershed at the moment between tech and the law governments. Yeah, so we start off with the Americans and TikTok. Do they sell it? Uh, do they close it down? Uh, do they agree about anything? Um, sort of a hiatus at the moment, because Mr. Biden will sign it, but it's got to go through the full process, and it's only halfway there. And then we have the EU with the DMA and Apple. Yeah, and Apple and Meta and Epic and Spotify. And that is going to run and run. and. The European form of lawmaking is sort of use our law, see what you want to do about it. Let's have a disagreement. Let's have an agreement. And that will go on and on. And this week, actually, yesterday, the DOJ in America against Apple. That'll run. It'll be good for journalists and it'll be good for people like us just babbling on about it for ages. That's the word of the week. Oh, yeah. Shave my head because you know, spring. Anyway, the app of the week. If you have an iPhone, if you have an Android phone and you hold down over a word on the screen, you get a little pop-up with various bits and pieces on there. Uh, the app I've got for this week is the equivalent on the Mac, and it's a thing called Pop Clip. Now, I had it from the Mac App Store. Uh, the problem with the Mac App Store is all their apps are sandboxed. And it finally came to pass that the uh, creator of PopClip couldn't get any changes through the App Store on the Mac. Um, so he's taken it out to the App Store. However, if you update it, uh, then you will get a complimentary license for the non-App Store version. And I think the non-App Store version is actually a lot better. So if you've got a Mac and you want it to look like a bit like an iPhone or an iPad, PopClip. Also got a version for Windows as well by a different author, which is subscription, which I'm against. Anyway, right, okay, the thing of the week. The thing of the week is in Wales we have a new first minister. Out with the old and in with the almost as old. Mr Vaughan Gething uh, announced his uh, cabinet yesterday. I fully anticipate nothing at all will change, apart from, I think, another 36 members of the parish council. Yeah, no change there. Anyway, um, the song of the week. OK, so I first heard this on the Friday Rock Show. And then, not actually this track, but this was the first band that I ever saw at the Reading Festival. And the album it's from is called Live at the Target. And it's by a band called Twelfth Night, and the track is called For Helen. Um, and there's an umlaut in there somewhere. Yes, it's prog. Yes, it's excellent. And they have a website where you can download updated versions or get the CD. But if you like your prog, Twelfth Night, absolutely excellent band. And the track For Helen, with an E on the end. OK, on with the week. Right, let's start on Saturday, uh, Saturday in Newport, uh, a rugby day. I had, for the first time ever, 5,000 swarm points, swarm stroke four square. I think it helped that uh, I did a check-in on the Monday and I had 4,000 points. I normally don't even get 1,000 points, to be honest. Yeah, it is sad, but that's the sort of thing that I like, you know. Um... Wales lost at the rugby, by the way. They weren't that good. They weren't that good at all. And it rained. Sunday. Well, Sunday, I've been having problems at home with Wales Online. 
Um, can't control or click on anything. Can't log into it. Can't get any of the comments. I deleted all the cookies. I deleted all the history. Long story short, you need to reset Edge, which I did. I had to reset up everything. But it works now. But I wish it just hadn't gone wrong in the first place. But whatever. Second thing on Sunday, I learned that my weather forecast in the morning that I put out, unexpected audience. I had an inkling before that more people were watching them and reading them than actually said anything, but it turns out my next door neighbour <laughs> thinks they're quite good. Um, they're a basic uh, Met Office BBC look out the window hybrid, but thank you very much indeed. I appreciate that. Monday more compost uh, the big plan is for this sunday to stick the first of the first earlies in casablanca's not going to be quite as cold overnight in the future week but it's touch and go but there's lots of rain and they like well water tuesday i got home from work and there was a letter from the anthony nolan trust um i'm on their board as a prospective donor they sent me a letter saying, happy birthday, you're 61, you're too old now, but thanks for what you did. Um, if you'd like to donate or volunteer, here's how you do it. If you're under 61, why not sign up? Anthony Nolan, excellent, excellent. And donating bow marrow, it's the least you can do. Uh, Wednesday. Well, that day we had Sainsbury's down and Tesco's a bit down and on Wednesdays Greg's went down and their point of sale system went down and some of the shops they had to close. And I know what people are going to say, cash is king. Well, kind of is. I'm just a bit techy though. Um, but bacon rolls? No bacon rolls. Uh, Thursday. Thursday, Apple updates. 17.4.1 uh, iPad updates. I uh, didn't do the math this time, thank heavens for that. Friday, in work, killer ladybirds, biting all over the place. Hand sanitizer got rid of the bites, but it wasn't me, it was a colleague. Ah, right, um, and finally, I saw the first adoption of my beer scoring system online. Who knew? Anyway, um, that was my week. It just went. And tomorrow, probably my last visit to Tiny Rebel Newport. Comments are very welcome wherever you see this. Um, I think that's bye-bye. It is. Bye-bye.